gravitational waves, sort of at a fundamental level, are very similar to that. In this case, the rock is some big massive object, some accelerating object, and the pond, the surface of the pond is space. All right, it's, this, it's basically space. And so when a big object moves, accelerates, all right, you have two objects orbiting around one another, all right, it's creating these ripples that travel outward. And that's what a gravitational wave is. It's like ripples on a pond. But the ripples in this case are in space themselves. It's a tremendously important discovery. It's something that uh, tells us something we didn't already know, uh, which is in this case that it's possible to have a binary black hole. Uh, we never knew that before. That we know uh, from previous work that neutron stars, which turn into pulsars, can be binary, that there can be in pairs. We never knew for sure that there would be stars that could turn into black holes in pairs and then merge together to form this uh, coalescing black hole and make this huge burst of gravitational energy to come out. So that's a spectacular new result for astronomy. So it's not just a technological accomplishment and, and, or, and it's not just confirming that Einstein was right. This is saying we now know something we didn't already know about astronomy. Spectacular.